I just had an idea. I was always thinking of things. I was always creative and had no plan in which to make products or be an inventor. Um, I didn't even really like business, honestly. Really? Yeah, I really didn't. That was boring to me. Um, but I had an idea, and I had a dream, and I thought, people need this product. And I got the bug. And once you get the bug, and you realize you can do it, exactly. then you just keep doing more and more and more. Because you want, there's it's so infectious. much. Yeah, it is. And you don't really want to stop. It's like, you, there's never really like an... You think there's an end goal, but then you always know there's something more to be done. Or buyers at stores. For me, it was the uh, you know TV shopping world. For me, Queen it's like yeah, Queen of <laughs> right here. I once you have a successful product, and yeah. w and women, for me that was the audience at the time. Women loved it. Then you want to keep pleasing. You want to keep creating things that make right. them happy, that make their lives better. And you get personal gratification, but then you also know that you're helping other people in their lives. So that for me was quite infectious. I just wanted to keep doing and making more, and it became easier and easier because I knew what I was doing. I'm a woman in business, so are That's you. Right. And it's great because they're different personalities, successful, be yourself. Take care of business. Be yourself. Go for it. Yes. Get out there. But um, it, it can be bumpy along the way. Any regrets or mistakes that you feel you've um, kind of hit through the years? Well, you know, I share certain bumps that I've had in the mm -hmm. book. I think that, you know, I don't like to look back. There are no mistakes, really. Everything is a learning lesson. Mm -hmm. Everything helps you to do better. Right. So I talk about some of the mistakes that I made, and it just helps you to get further along, learn from those mistakes, and get smarter. My entrepreneurial spirit flourished when I started thinking of ideas and then seeing them out there on the market, but I hadn't done them. Someone else had. They were very successful. So when I thought of my earring organizer, I thought, this time, I'm going to do it. And I did. I knew that women had no good way in which to store their jewelry. And it just came to me like a thunderbolt. And I went home and I drew it. And then I went to my grandfather's wood shop and I made it. After I made my sample, I did market research to see if people would really like it or buy it. I started calling every retailer in the country, let it ring a thousand times until they'd pick up, and I flew myself to 21 cities in 18 days and met with different buyers and showed them my prototype. That first product was very successful. I made well over a million dollars on it, and I started thinking, wow, there's lots of other things I could make. And I started making cosmetic organizers, I started doing kitchen gadgets. My goal was to improve people's lives with the products that I created. To date, I've created over 400 products, and I've generated half a billion in sales. To me, an entrepreneur is somebody who will do whatever it takes. Right. They're driven. They um, are A-type personalities. They. It's like they don't know the word no. And that's always been my mantra. I know no no's, just how right. can I? So when I see that person, I know that no matter what, even if they have to pivot, you know, which is something that happens. Maybe this isn't the best idea, but something else is, and you're going to change it. They're still going to make it because they have what it takes to be a successful entrepreneur. New business formations are way down. Way down. Way down. And venture capital is way down. Well, that means people are afraid of something. These are brand new business startups, a very important economic measure, way down. Well, I think, you know, to me, I'm an entrepreneur. And I think that true entrepreneurs, it doesn't really matter what's going on in the economy. If they come up with a great business idea, great product, they're risk takers. They're going to go for it. It doesn't matter if the taxes are up 5%. It doesn't matter what is going on with that. They are people that just are pioneers. They're going to forge ahead and start that business no matter what. Well, I've launched in the last 16 years 400 new products, and I have 115 patents. People going through this now have a lot of options. You have uh, fundraising sites like Kickstarter, you have little online marketplaces like Etsy. Do you recommend that people use these to sort of test out their products? I think a lot of people uh, don't trust their gut enough. I think a lot of people want somebody to hold their hand through the process. <laughs> and really, that's not the best way. There's no special formula that's right for every single person. You have to s decide, do you like Kickstarter? Do you feel that's right for you? Or, you know, people have other ways in which to do things. So I think it's know your options.
It's got to feel good when someone brings you a new idea. Well, I love it. I mean, that's what drives me. Mm -hmm. I love the excitement of taking a product and turning it into a huge success. So, you know, that's what Shark Tank's all about, and that's what my book is all about. It's exciting. What are some of the key traits to being a successful inventor? Well, I think definitely you have to be driven, you have to be motivated, you have to have passion. You have to be somebody who, like I said, there are no no's. Mm -hmm. You know, if I have an obstacle, I go over it, I go under it, I go around it. Right. You just don't quit. I go through it. I go through it. <laughs> Well, I think that startups should, one, be willing to do everything that it takes to make their startup work. You know, a lot of people say, oh, well, you know, I just want to do it for a few hours a day. <laughs> That's not going to happen. If you want to start your own business, you really need to put in the time and the dedication. And that means 24-7 if need be. Make sure whatever your idea is that people really want it and need it. And the way to learn that is to do some market research. Don't just ask friends and family. Get out there and ask a lot of people and a variety of people if they like your idea and if they would buy it, use it, or pay for it. And if so, what would they be willing to pay? Make sure that you've done all of your research and what it takes to get your product idea out there. So have a business plan and find out all the steps required first so that you're not missing anything along the way and you don't mess anything up. Make sure that you learn all the people that you can market your product to, stores, shopping channels, whatever it is. Make sure that you know them and that you're aggressive and you're very enthusiastic and passionate about your product idea or business because your enthusiasm becomes infectious. If you believe in yourself, they will too. If you really have a drive and you really put your heart and soul into something, you can really make anything happen. I'm a true believer in that. So. I think that we, hopefully, we make people believe that they can achieve the American dream too. Just watch, study us, and if you really are passionate and driven, you can get there. My true feeling is this. No matter who you are, no matter what age you are, no matter the time in your life, if you have a dream and you have the drive, you can make anything happen. And if you are ever feeling down, or feeling like you can't get over that hump, or you just have a bad day. I play this song, and you remember this song, okay? Here it goes. <laughs>